Saints of the living God, good morning. Amen. You look so wonderful in the sight of God. Today we have a lesson which is saying, who do you listen to? Who do we listen to is the lesson, the subject of our message today. Church, I invite you to the book of Mark chapter 10. Verses 46 52. Then they reached Jericho, and Jesus and his disciples left town. A large crowd followed him. A blind beggar named Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, was sitting beside the road. When Bartimaeus heard that Jesus of Nazareth was nearby, he began to shout. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. But Mary was not special there by chance. In the olden days, when you have a disability, a legitimate disability, the laws and the rules and the custom was that this person was declared a non-entity. He was declared somebody who was not very important. And therefore, they designed him in special courts that they glad these people to show the public that this person has a disability and he is a beggar and he is officially declared that people can give him arms and they can help him. And so, but mayors was the station along that highway. And so as Jesus was coming with his disciples and the other crowd that followed him, but mayors was seated there. I want to believe that but mayors had had blood because he could not see. And so he could not move by himself. So this hand would take Batmeas from point A to point B. And so as Christ was coming near, he picked it that Christ is now reached almost to where he was. Now, Batmeas had three options to make when Jesus approached. Because he really wanted to be the presence of Jesus Christ. So when Jesus approached, he had three options that he could make. The first one was that he could have assigned one of his handlers to go and make an appointment or rather request that he wants to talk to Jesus. That was the first option. The second option is that he could have waited for Jesus to locate him to where he was because he was seated just next to the highway. But the third option was that he had to go Jesus by himself. Church, we are all called to live in the presence of the Lord. We cannot afford to ask somebody to make an appointment for us to speak to Jesus. We cannot wait for Jesus to locate where we are or Jesus to come to where our condition or our situation are or our sinful nature are but we need to call Jesus by ourselves. And so, when the crowd drew close at where Bartimaeus always sat, someone whispered from the group that Jesus is now here. And Bartimaeus did the unthinkable. Remember what we read in Exodus and Leviticus, that people that had legitimate defects would not come closer 
to where the Lord was. But but man did the unthinkable. When Christ came, he chose to call Jesus by himself. And so he shouted, as we read from the Bible, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. When the crowd heard what this de defective man was doing, they yelled at him, shut up! You are making noise. You are not supposed to go upon the Lord. You are a defect defective man. But the more they yelled at him, Patmea continued to shout and to call upon the Lord. Who do you listen to church when you want Jesus Christ to have this upon your life? Today, many people, we fail to listen to the word of God, but we want to listen to ourselves. And when we listen to ourselves, the last, last nature of our, of, our, of, our, of our bodies takes toll, and we tend not to listen to the prompting of the Lord. Here today, we are being encouraged that we should listen to that which comes from the Father. Let us not listen to ourselves, but let us listen to God. But may us defile all odds by listening to Christ and not listening to people who we are not talking to. Life has taught me one thing, that you should be mindful of what you listen or what you hear or the words that come to you because some of the words you don't have to talk. Can you imagine if Bartimaeus had listened to what the people are telling him? As we read in the Bible. Church today, when you want, when you repent, when you, come to, when you want to come to the presence of the Lord, a lot of voices come to you. People who say all manner of things. People who rebuke you. People who pass comments. People who have certain looks that disapprove of your wanting to be in the presence of Christ. But I want to tell you that it's only Jesus Christ who has got enough mercy to save you and to keep you as a Christian for the second time of his For the grounds of creation and the law, but Mayas had no right to say anything regarding his condition. He was born and destined to be in that condition today. My brother and sister, there is no condition that is on you today that you are destined for death. There is no condition that is on you today that Christ can fail to change. I want to tell you that Christ is not a reliable destiny helper, but Christ is a reliable destiny changer. He can change your situation as long as you hear to his voice. Who do you listen to? Do you listen to yourself? Do you listen to your leaders? Do you listen to your neighbors? Do you listen to people that rebuke you? Who do you listen to, church? Who do you listen to? There are a lot of silent voices that come our way. Some of us, we listen to ourselves. Some of us, we listen to our employment. Some of us, we listen to our, to, to our, bed, to our, our vehicles. Some of us, we listen to our many achievements. But I want to tell you that without Jesus in your life, you are nothing. But may us realize that without Jesus in my life, I'm nothing. And it's only Jesus that can redeem me. It's only Jesus that can restore my sight. And so amid this, the many people that were there, people that read the law, people that wrote the law, people that designed those rules and regulations, but may us decided to defy all odds and he decided to focus on Jesus Christ. When you focus on Jesus Christ, no matter what people will say, Jesus will always restore your dignity. There is nothing wrong to dream about luxury life, but doing it without Jesus is nothing. Church, God's mercy is sufficient for, for us to have our destinies changed. Jesus is a reliable destiny changer. We read many situations in the Bible where when Christ intervened, all those that desired the presence of Christ, all those that desired the intervention of Christ, their destiny were changed. What's your choice this morning? I want to speak to that one person. I have chose that I will live for Christ. Is there anyone who is saying yes? I also want to join you to live for Christ, to stand so that we pray together. Just that one person, are you there? 
Yes, thank you, my brother. Oh, lovely. Let us live for Christ because Christ's message are sufficient to change our destiny.